Holler if you hear me, and welcome to this special edition of Luke Targets, because, well, 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 our long national nightmare is over. We finally have successfully seen Rachel Zegler post a public apology for one of her idiotic statements. I know there's so many idiotic statements that basically half my channel now has been categorizing all the Rachel Zegler stupidity that she's ever been saying whenever she opens her mouth, showing that there actually are people out there connected to the company that are more talentless and moronic than Jimmy Kimmel anytime he tries to open his mouth and he doesn't have 60 writers with him, let alone when he is on stage with 60 writers cultivating every single Chuck Schumer-proofed punchline. But now it appears that when people want to see whether or not the Hollywood left-wing mind virus is something that they are now just out of sheer survival of the business wanting to steer away from, despite all of the TikTok meltdowns from TikTok to late night TV ho uh, talk show hosts, we're seeing that now enough years of the Biden economy uh, all helping to incentivize the massive financial failure of one big woke production after another, even though there are plenty of those big woke productions that also are failing during the 2016 to 2020 presidential administration with gainful employment and $2 and change of a gallon gas, were also leading to those things get hated. But now, 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 because economic recovery will not be overnight, and because of the four years of economic nightmares that these uh, businesses have been dealing with, and not as much as the common man or the common one, but still their bottom line has been severely hurting with the 85 plus percent of big business and big corporations that for all the people in the Democratic Party lied about them and their fair share not paying for it, then how come those 85 percent of those businesses are always donating to Democrat campaigns and fundraising for them? I wonder how you can follow that thread line to see that they're all lying. And Rachel Zegler, being as much of a liar and a delusional idiot as any of those freak out people on TikTok, had a nice little outburst and a little tirade about the evils of all those disgusting people that, you know, voted in a landslide in the biggest Republican presidential victorious landslide in this since probably 1984. So if you look at that shocks video where I mentioned the joke about good old Kamala not appearing at that annual Catholic dinner living up to the election, the first Democrat to not do that since Walter Mondale 1984, who got thoroughly bitch slapped, almost, actually I think worse than Kamala did back in 84. So yeah, history repeats itself and those who don't you know learn those things, well, we all know about how much they repeat them because the left can't stop repeating themselves. And it's just only now for the sake of, well, millions upon millions to the millions and the millions and the millions of the 45th and 47th president's voters represent an awful lot of potential box office dollars in case you're wondering why The Rock, building up to now his latest movie, decided to go back on all of his left-wing pandering leading up to WrestleMania 40 this year because The Rock being the consummate doing everything he can to maneuver himself to the top, probably has taken one good long look at the American movie-going landscape and thinking, you know, Republicans buy movie tickets. It's not even a matter of to paraphrase Michael Jordan in the 90s about how Republicans buy shoes too. It's it's more of a matter of Republicans buy more shoes than insufferable soy boys and their feminist girlfriends, okay? They're too poor and stupid to be able to buy new shoes or to buy comic books or to buy video games or to go to see movies. So if anything, being politically neutral or even actively condoning or showing some sympathy or respect to the people of middle America that vote Republican would be the smarter business move these days. Something like what The Rock's been doing for the last year and just conveniently doing it as a very much a ahead of time building up towards now the promotion and the release for his new movie, The Red One. And Rachel Zegler, on the other hand, not having much going on upstairs, I'm pretty sure that if he took Rachel Zegler, and for all the stereotyping that big titty beautiful blondes get in Hollywood, from within Hollywood, from actual misogynists like Tina Fey, who always screeches about women's rights and women empowering women, but then can't stop belittling any woman more successful or attractive than her, even to the point of bashing Taylor Swift. Are you that much of a neurotic loser that that mouse-faced anorexic with the singing ability of nails on the chalkboard and who can't simply go anywhere out in public with any man without it being an entirely prearranged transactional glorified endorsement deal of relationship is getting under your skin, Tina Fey. You truly are a jackanape. 
and no different from good old Rachel Zegler or whoever, who, for her or Tina Fey, for how much they want to talk about how much they empower women, show them a woman that was more successful than them, whether it's, you know, a Tina, whether it's Tina Fey looking at Margot Robbie or Sydney Sweeney, and why hence universally always puts dumb, blonde, slut cliches into anything she writes, or Rachel Zegler looking at a cartoon princess from the 1930s and can't stand but looking at it and saying how much of an awful, terrible thing it was, and how, oh, the prince, the stalker, and how she's so stupid. You know she's not a real person, right? But then again, Rachel Zegler does not have a good grip on reality, so her not understanding that Snow White is not a real person is just into the delusional, narcissistic leftism of millennials who cannot comprehend anything that's actually based on reality. That's why they always need everything to be a reflection of them, because what matters is not, you know, actual economic recovery, actual uplifting people from poverty. It's to make sure that they are always, always within an inch of being able to see a reflection reflection of themselves because they know that they're so completely ungrounded in reality. They have no actual, real, immutable sense of real faith or purpose in life, so that's why they need the ever-shifting, round-the-clock narcissism of fantasies and fictions that are constantly putting right in front of their faces to make sure that they feel like they matter, because they don't have anything within themselves to stand on their own two feet and move like the Rock of Gibraltar to be able to say, hey, I can be as entirely unrepresented or misrepresented by God knows whatever is going on in Hollywood movies or in video games but guess what? I'm actually a rounded human being who wants to go off into the wild blue yonder and live my life, okay? And considering all of the actual stable and happy and upwardly up mobile Christians or conservatives in that way that are able to live their life and do it in spite of how, for all the subversion of stereotypes that Hollywood wants to pretend to do, the same Hollywood stereotypes that the same far-left Hollywood had been building up and reinforcing for decades and, and now wants to congratulate themselves for pretending to subvert when really they're just putting a CRT flip on that same crap, doesn't mind continuing to have the same old uh, cliches of the dumb jock who, you know, beats women and doesn't appreciate them the way that the put up poor put upon nerd would if you give them the chance and then look at all the nerds who then finally get with hot women in high, and that they couldn't get with in high school when they get into show business and they treat women like subhuman pond scum paging you know Hugh Hefner and the heft tapes but then you also take a look at these type of people like this and the dumb jock or the Christian conservative who's always secretly evil or secretly gay or secretly abusing children and then look at how Hollywood is the most sophisticated child prostitution ring in the entire world. No wonder they love Bill Clinton so much. And with somebody like Rachel Zegler, somebody to whom, like, you know, all those other people that are desperate to get their slice of the pine show business has no real sense of self-worth or validation beyond the agent or the publicist or the casting director or the producer or the director or the studio executive that's going to go and, you know, shake the hand and give them the good deal or, you know, whip it out or uh, and say, yeah, I didn't take it up for air, baby. Or, you know, like good old Amanda giving good old Leslie that table dance says how she wound up getting cast in the Acolyte. But we all already know these things, and well, Rachel Zegler, because another side of the coin of how people like them have no sense of worth or value, Rachel Zegler now, in the wake of post so much economic hardship and post we better stop with the woke if we know what's good for our business, Hollywood, now the people in charge of her career and in charge of the Snow White remake told her, you better retract from that shit because we can't afford to have you as a sentient liability anymore. So you better make an apology on Instagram and we better make sure that the apology meets our approval before you make that post. And that's not my opinion. I know I'm right. So I want to thank you all for watching. Subscribe so my channel reaches 10,000 subs. Don't forget to become a channel member today and to shop at my art store at the second link below where you can buy my art you can commission me. Or you can uh, pay uh, directly as a donation in my store to show your support. And if you want to buy or commission me from outside of America, make your payment as a donation with another donation for the international shipping and handling fee. So until then, felines, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy.